Hey guys, it's Jake from Wild Academy. Just a quick update to let you know that the Learn PHP book is free today. I'll put a link to it down below. You can download it if you haven't gotten a copy of it yet. Uh, also, if you don't have a Kindle, you can always just uh, download the Kindle app on your smartphone, so iPhone, you know, App Store, or the Android Store as well. So, uh, also, if you want to read it on your desktop, there's the Kindle Cloud, so you can read it there. Um, looks great. Formatted it to look great. And I'm going through the course, the book, like page by chapter by chapter in my YouTube video course. And that's like currently going on right now. So I'm making the fourth day uh, as I speak. I just needed to make this quick video because Learn PHP book is only free for today. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. If you want to get the Learn my Learn Ruby book, I think if I come down here and see it right here, if you want to get that one, that's a, a popular one as well. And if you want to get it, you can sign up to my mailing list and I'll send out an email tomorrow. Um, just click wildacademy.co. You can go there or you click the link down below in the description. Um, I don't spam, but I, I think that's a dumb idea. But uh, I'll basically just send you emails whenever one of my books are free. Um, but I won't send you an email every single time. Like if you've already gotten the PHP email, I'm not going to send you one. The next email you'll receive is the, is the Python book. Um, I'm sponsored by Pluralsight. Again, they're still sponsoring the channel and they're the largest online tutorial site in the world for software developers. And they're actually local to me. So I actually know a lot of the people that work at Pluralsight. It's a fantastic company. I love the CEO. I like the CEO is just an awesome individual. And uh, so check that out. They have a free 10 day trial. If you wanna click the link below, um, then I'll get some credit for that. Otherwise, uh, check them out anyways, because they're, they're great, great people. And also John Sanmez, who's one of the top instructors on Pluralsight uh, from simpleprogrammer.com. He's also another friend of mine and I was a guest on his show, Entreprogrammers. And so what I'm gonna do is I talk to them, uh, also Chuck from the Ruby Rogues and then, um, and, and then well, <laughs> I'll let you, I, I don't wanna introduce everybody on the show, but uh, I'll let you go ahead and watch that show where I'm a guest. And I basically do it about me, and then I give some advice on, on marketing and then when you're like a new software developer. So check that out. They also provide a ton of good advice for my subscribers as well. And then, like I said, this is John. He's the he's the he's uh, one of the top instructors at Pluralsight. Great guy as well. Anyway, so I will leave you with uh, the clip of this episode of Entreprogrammers on YouTube, and then I'll put a link if you want to see the full video down below in the description as well. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll have the Learn PHP day four ready for you in a few hours. We, we have a, a guest on the show this week, uh, uh, Jake, Jake Williams, who uh, from Wild Academy, right? Am I saying that right? Yep. And, uh, and, uh, and Jake does a lot of YouTube videos and tutorials and really cool, uh, cool YouTube stuff. He gave us a, this really cool recommendation, I think, uh, last week on our, on our show in the comments about uh, you know, using a picture of, of, uh, of your audience to, to get sponsors uh, or to, right. to really give that effect, which I thought was really, really cool. That's, that's an approach that, um, that I'm definitely going to use, especially more so when, uh, you know, when, someone in my family says, uh, you know, says, why are you recording videos on the internet? And what do you, who do you think you are? And, you know, like, and then I would say, do you see this football field full of people? Okay. Yeah. They think yeah. I'm smart and I don't care about you, you know, you people. so. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I, I posted a picture of Lavelle Edwards stadium, which holds about 65,000, uh, uh, people. Um, I'm sure it can hold more dogs if you stack them. But uh, right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's how many viewers I get every month uh, on average. So well, it's you know last month it was sixty thousand. This month it was sixty five thousand. So that continues to go up every month. But it really um, it, when we go on YouTube, and I said this in the comment, when we go on YouTube, all the videos we see are like the one hit, you know, like yeah. million views, two million views. Right. And as I said in the comment, that's really not the norm. Um, and a lot of those people who get those one hit wonders, they don't have consistencies on their channel. So mm -hmm. if you're on Reddit and they say, hey, this person did this really funny thing, it's like they have two million views. And well, that person, this is the first hit they've had, so they're scrambling to like, you know, become a YouTube partner and quickly monetize all those views that are coming in. Um, and then again, it's just the up and downs. And when you're looking for a sponsor, you have to show consistency. 
I mean, yeah. that's why podcasts are so uh, – podcasts are better at getting sponsors because there isn't – there's rarely a podcast that is a one-hit wonder, right, that everybody is sharing. Oh, man, listen to this half-hour podcast with these people talking about – you know. <laughs> and so it, it there are benefits to um, having consistency that far outweigh trying to go for those home runs. You know, basically, I, I don't know if it was this show, but somebody said – you win baseball games off of single base hits. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what I focus on, and then you know eventually I'll have to send two pictures of a football stadium in order to send them. Right. Message, <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about what you do? Oh well, I'm I'm actually a designer. I do 3D modeling and uh, landscape and interior design, and um, and then I do foster care as well. Me and my wife. Um, before that, I had a business called fix a phone that I started and that was here in Salt Lake and grew that to 12 employees, three locations, like in-store locations. And we sold that, um, we were doing about a million a year in revenue. And that was just super exciting for me because you now the thing that was exciting about it is that I had no idea what I was doing right? <laughs> my partners. Right. And, like I always kind of want to be in that position because going to work every single day was a thrill, right? So like when the iPad came out uh, or the iPad 2 came out, somebody brought a broken one in and they said, okay, fix this, right? And it's like, okay, this came out yesterday. There's no tutorials online on how to fix it, right? So like I've got a, I've got a hot air gun and, uh, you know, some some guitar picks and I'm just praying that I don't have to – you know, spend a thousand bucks replacing this. Right. So th those were really, um, those I still are like one of the, the most intense uh, and funnest times of my life. And it taught me a lot about business because I would be on the floor dealing with customers and I would, you know, the people that you would talk to, um, the personalities range, like just, you know, you could break somebody's device on accident. I know I've brought up breaking twice now, but it, it didn't happen that often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we constantly just break everything. This is why we're no longer around. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sold that business at the right time, didn't you? <laughs> Where those Google those Google local ratings came out. And... <laughs> 